Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. The numpy.fft.rfft function is a part of the numberpy library that computes the one dimensional discrete Fourier transform, DFT, of real valued input data using the fast Fourier transform, FFT, algorithm. This function is particularly useful for analyzing real valued signals, as it takes advantage of the symmetry properties of the Fourier transform. Key concepts. One discrete Fourier transform, DFT, it transforms a sequence of complex numbers into another sequence of complex numbers, allowing us to analyze the frequency components of the original sequence. Two real FFT, since the input is real valued, numpy.fft.rfft is optimized to reduce computation time and memory usage compared to the standard FFT. Three output, the output of numpy.fft.rfft is a complex array that contains the amplitudes and phases of the frequency components. Function signature. A. Input array, 1D, of real numbers. N. Length of the FFT. If not provided, the length of A will be used. Axis, axis along which the FFT is computed. Default is the last axis. Norm, normalization mode. Can be set to backward, ortho, or forward. Example usage. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial with a complete example. 1. Import libraries. We need to import numberpy for numerical operations and matplotlib for plotting. 2. Generate a signal. We can create a simple sinusoidal signal. 3. Compute the FFT. Use numpy.fft.rfft to compute the FFT of the signal. 4. Plot the results. Visualize both the original signal and its frequency spectrum. Code example. Explanation of the code. One signal generation, we generate a time variable x and create a signal that is a combination of two sine waves at frequencies of 50 Hz and 120 Hz. Two FFT computation, we compute the FFT using np.fft.rfft, which returns the frequency components in a complex format. We also compute the corresponding frequencies using np.fft.rfft. 3. Plotting, we use matplotlib to plot the original signal and its FFT. The first subplot shows the signal in the time domain, while the second subplot shows the magnitude of its Fourier transform, revealing the frequency components. Conclusion Using numpy.fft.rfft, you can analyze real-valued signals efficiently. The example provided illustrates how to generate a signal, compute its FFT, and visualize the results, which can be helpful in various applications like signal processing, audio analysis, and more.